the Live camera just dropped in Walkabout Mini Golf as the Coco Vision camera, and it's packed with incredible features for both casual players and content creators alike. Today, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know from basic use to advanced tips to get those perfect mini golf shots. First things first, activating the camera is super intuitive thanks to Walkabout's one handed design. Look down at your wrist and move your head up and down a little until you see a little blue cursor come from out of your face. Aim it at the camera icon and press the trigger button on the same hand controller to open the camera interface. Once activated, your golf club transforms into a selfie stick. You'll use that same face cursor and trigger click to navigate all the camera menus throughout the system. The interface shows three quick options. Take a photo with a three second countdown timer, start recording video, or flip the camera direction. There's also an X button to close the camera and three dots for advanced settings, which we'll get to in a bit. Quick tip before we continue, if you're planning on doing any talking during your recordings, head to Walkabout's game settings and lower the environmental sounds and the music. Do a quick test recording to make sure that audio levels sound good, as sometimes those earworm tunes can be really loud in your recordings. Now let's explore the three main camera lock modes in the advanced settings. With hand lock or selfie stick mode, the camera stays attached to your hand, moving with your movements. Great for vlogs, commentary, or following the action closely. World lock lets you position the camera anywhere in space. The camera will follow you when you use the joystick to move, which is great when it comes to making sure you're always in frame. But if you want to position it in a particular area away from you, I recommend doing sort of a throwing motion where you hold grip and push the camera out there, let go of grip, then hold grip again and push it out further. Then physically walk away from the camera if you can. Don't forget you can twist your wrist while holding grip to adjust the camera angle. Headlock follows your head movements. Make sure to position the camera where you want it before clicking the head position button because that's where it'll stay relative to your head. Now let's explore other ways that you can fine tune each mode. Smoothing is huge for content quality. If you're in selfie mode with shaky hands or using headlock and moving too rapidly, up in motion smoothing eliminates that nauseating footage. Your viewers will thank you for this. However, that may also mean that it takes the camera a little bit of time to catch up to you if you're moving too quickly as it's trying to move on a smoother track. Zoom controls allow you to zoom in and out, of course. If you're experiencing performance issues while recording, hit the SD button for 720p instead of HD's 1080p. Planning TikToks or YouTube shorts? Use this button to rotate from a horizontal to a vertical canvas. Toggle the microphone button if you don't want your microphone audio included in your recordings. This little monitor icon brings a viewfinder to your wristwatch, which is incredibly helpful when using world lock with the camera out of sight or headlock with the camera behind you for a third person perspective. You can see exactly what you're recording without hunting for the camera. And finally, if you've gone too crazy with the settings, hit reset to return to defaults. Let me show you where to find those masterpieces after taking those photos or recordings. On Quest, open the Oculus menu, click the camera icon, then see all in gallery to view all photos and videos. You can delete them directly in headset, sync them to your Horizon Meta app on your phone, or connect your Quest to your PC. Once connected via USB, go to your Meta menu in headset and click on notifications, then click on the USB notification. With your Quest now connected, on your computer you'll find any movies in the Quest Movies WMG album folder, and photos in the Quest Pictures WMG album folder. For Steam, videos go to your Videos WMG album folder and photos to Pictures WMG album. Now for the fun part, let's give you a couple of ideas when it comes to angles and filming in Walkabout. Use world lock mode to place the camera right by the hole. Perfect for capturing those nail biting moments when the ball rolls towards the cup. For a third person follow cam, this is a multi-step technique. Start in world lock, make sure that the viewfinder is viewable on your wrist. Turn around physically so the camera's behind you. Adjust zoom and smoothing to your liking, then switch to headlock mode for a smooth third person POV that follows your movements. For a tracked ball shot, set the camera to hand lock with maximum smoothing. Replay your shot with the top face button on your controller, either Y or B, depending on which controller. When you replay the shot, follow the ball like you're a professional camera operator. Just make sure the camera's flipped to outside view for this one. World Lock has this amazing feature where it follows you as you move with the joystick. Set your desired angle, make sure it's rotated correctly, and the camera maintains that perfect perspective as you navigate the course. Walkabout's existing replay feature becomes incredibly powerful here. Hit that amazing trick shot, place your camera, hit record, and press Y or B to trigger the replay. Not happy with the angle? Move the camera, adjust settings, and replay again until it's perfect. 
You can also record multiple angles of the same shot for a really cool trick shot compilation video. The CocoVision camera in Walkabout Mini Golf is seriously impressive. From simple group photos to complex cinematic shots, it gives players tools that rival professional setups. The Crystal Layer DLC and the free camera update are out now on Quest, Rift, and Steam. If you create something cool with the camera, tag us and walk about mini golf as we'd love to see it. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to see all of the community's amazing shots.